As you can see, this is the uh, Dr. McCoy's medical scanner. First modification I've made to it since I've repainted it, of course, is that I have come in here and, and uh, installed diagnostic LEDs in the uh, holes where the actual uh, speaker outlet holes were, so you could hear the sound of the uh, device. But it was plenty loud before; it's still loud. As you can see, they. This right and they I noticed that every, occasionally when they would use it in the show every now and then sometimes it would have this glowing effect and if I remember correctly and it, you could never see what was causing it. and after Dr. McCoy would do a scan he would look he would real quickly look at look at the back of it and that's how he would get a diagnosis because it showed the actual uh, series of readouts here would tell him basic condition of course it couldn't do extensive diagnosis but it could tell sickness and conditions and other uh, problems that may need more further immediate treatment. The only thing I still need to do is I bought a small uh, part of my mess here but I'm working on a whole bunch of stuff uh, is a DC motor that I'm going to put in here which will rotate the sensor. Now the one on the show had like about actually it was a dual pole that had two of these sensors one on one side and one on the other but it was spin so fast you couldn't tell so hopefully when I'm done with that it will look uh, that will make it actually uh, uh, even more authentic to the show. Um, alrighty. As you can see, yeah, I got some phasers. I'm gonna one of them. I'm gonna repaint completely black and make it look, look more like the Star Trek three phaser, the assault phaser, because the chrome's been wearing off. It's my brother had it and just it was sitting on the shelf with dust accumulated and everything. So I figured I would uh, sand it down and paint it up. Second little update here, of course, is to my uh, my original 2009 Star Trek movie uh, tricorder. Of course, I'm working on another one now, and I still have another one in the box, which I'm going to keep inside the original packaging for my collection. As in my other video, before I sanded this one down and painted it black, I uh, installed LEDs along the uh, actual LED line where the indicator is. Well, as you can see. I only put a few in along the bottom line wherever there was a slot for them, just like in the original picture. Well, I'm going to do the same thing with this one, but in this one, I made sure I followed the actual line. I got me a set of professional cutting files that really help when you do these sort of projects. And, uh, of course, I had to go in there and clear out a lot of the original plastic. Uh, one of them was a screw mount. I had to get rid of it. It was similar to that one. And I had to cut out the area where the little micro switch, which actually allows the unit to turn on when you flip it open, so I'm going to have to actually rewire that, modify that with another little switch I have. And I'm just going to put on the side so I can turn it on and off. Um, shouldn't be no big deal. little DC switch if I can get it out. A little small one here. And I'm just going to wire it. I'm going to make a rectangular hole in the side and put it in there. Unless I can find a push button one tomorrow, I'm going to go look and see if I can find a push button one that might work. But I don't have to make any other mods to the boards other than run off... Uh, one of the supply lines, to one of the lines that causes the blink cycle, because they blink in a different fashion. These lights blink on and off, and so do these. So what you want to do is tap into one of the lights blinking patterns here, so that way when you wire in your LEDs, you can wire some to one and some to the other, and they'll blink in a, in a sequential pattern, which you would think uh, would be a little more realistic. And along this area here, I'm just going to stack up some LEDs, like about six of them right here. I have a total of 12 LEDs right now, so I'm going to start out, put them here, probably put some here, two here and two here, and then I may just put some standard, uh, I need to go buy more because all I have are these large ones, I want to put smaller, uh, so I'll probably be paying a visit to the shack tomorrow pack of the smaller ones and put a couple along this green line run here some green LEDs in here so uh, the project's been coming along pretty nicely uh, I think the cuts have come up pretty straight on this one well they actually aren't straight if you look they actually they do tilt down so to keep them straight I had to kind of do a little uh, a little bit of modifying there but uh, if you're slow and patient you can do it 
Like I said, I just barely started that one. I still have these two to put here for the red LEDs. Um, but I may not make them all red. I think I'm going to put a combination of uh, a yellow and a red. Cause I got plenty of LEDs still here, but I might need some more. So I get another trip to Shack tomorrow. Should get me all the ones I'm going to need. So when I get to that point, I will film a clip and upload that. So until the next time, this is HK Fanatic, out.